Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing day. Honored to be connecting in with you. And my goodness, it is September. So just in case that's surprising anybody, it's come very quickly. Welcome to September. Excited to be here with each and every one of you. Today, we're going to be talking about bringing your passion to the world. I think one of the greatest gifts you can bring the world is your passion, your gifts, your talents, being willing to share that with the world and entrust them with it. And you can have such a powerful impact when you're willing to do that. The two guests we have today are doing that in so many different ways. And so I know there's a lot we can learn from them. We can get ideas and inspiration from how they've been able to really harness their gifts, their talents, and their passion and bring that to the world in powerful ways. So I'm looking forward to the conversation and to connecting with each and every one of you. I'm going to invite you all to just take a moment and pause We get so busy during the day, we forget to stop and pause and catch up with ourselves and even breathe deeply. So let's take a moment to do that. Take a deep breath in through the nose, all the way to the toes, stretching those lungs and then breathe out like you're breathing through a straw. Keep taking beautiful deep breaths as you really drink in that this time is for you. It's an opportunity for us to come together and pour into you so you can be filled up to a beautiful place where you are overflowing with gifts and talents and inspiration and energy to bring to the world. So allow us to deeply connect and pour into you. Be willing to be fully present. Avoid multitasking, (laughs) choose to be present, to really listen, open your heart, your ears, and hear and receive all that is here for you. Because I know that there is something here for you just by the very nature of you tuning in. So I'm excited for you to lean in and discover what that is, what is coming forward for you. As we're connecting in, I invite you to close your eyes. You're absolutely safe. And put both hands on your heart. Just taking a moment, a pause, to notice the beat of your heart. To feel in. To see what it is whispering to you, what it is wanting to share with you. Sometimes we're moving so fast We aren't slowing down to hear that still small voice in between the beats of our heart. Let's take a moment and just see what it is that it's whispering to you today. As we're talking about bringing your passion to the world, those things that you care most about, what is it that you need today? As you feel in and are connecting mind, body, soul, spirit, and heart, what is it that you need today to support and empower you to bring your passions to the world? And just lean in with curiosity. We're not asking you to figure out how and build, build the whole plan. We're asking you just to identify what is it that you need. And sometimes... You'll hear a reminder as you take a moment to stop and listen, or you'll get clarity on what it is that you need, what will support you in bringing your passions, your gifts, your talents to the world. So receive that information, see what's coming forward. Let's take another deep breath and come back into the room. Fully present, eyes open, and take a moment to write down what was laid on your heart, what it is that you need and are willing to receive. Because remember, you have choice. 
So just see if that shifts your answer a little bit, what it is you need and are willing to receive. Write that down. Let's start creating it, bringing it into reality. Unattached to how, but open with curiosity to discover a new way, a new perspective, a new practice to help bring forward those things that matter most to you. So put your listening ears on and be open to receive. And with that, we're going to go around our virtual room here and bring on our amazing guests. So I'd love to start with you, Karen. When you took a moment to just stop, pause, and listen, was there something laid on your heart you'd like to share? Oh, well, the word that came to me was support. And mm. I think we all need support to bring our passions into the world. Mm-hmm. Um, we both, you know, we need to give it and receive it. So I, yep. I just was really encouraged by the word support. I love that. And I love how you're adding giving and receiving. Like there's two sides. <laughs> it doesn't just go one way. That's very important. <laughs> important Absolutely. insight. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Beautiful. And I love how that felt good. You know, just identifying, holding that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And Jennifer, how about you? When you took a moment to stop, pause and listen, what was laid on your heart? It just reminds me of the value of self-reflecting and mm. being in tune and alignment with all that we are and acknowledging our gifts and talents and how we can be our whole selves to then help others. So taking the time to actually do that self-reflective exercise is important is what I took away from. Oh, beautiful. I'm, I'm just writing that down. I, I think that's so important and it's so easy to just keep moving <laughs> instead of stopping and pausing and reflecting and bringing that alignment in and all of ourselves. So thank you for sharing. That's a beautiful addition to our conversation today. And listeners, how about you? When you took a moment to stop, pause, and listen, was there a word that bubbled up? Or did it just feel, wow, it feels really good to just stop for a moment? Maybe you noticed something. Maybe as Jennifer and Karen are sharing, you're noticing um, some additional insights that are bubbling up. So as we go into our first commercial break, I invite you to stay present Use these two minutes there. It's a commercial break, but actually secretly in disguise is a two minute moment for you. And we've built them throughout the show to support you. So take these two minutes, stay present and really see what's bubbling up into your heart and spirit. It'll be a great foundation for our conversation today. So enjoy these moments and we'll look forward to continuing our conversation shortly. Voice America at Facebook.com forward slash Voice America for juicy updates from your favorite radio shows and podcasts. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Voice America programs are now available on your favorite connected device, including Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home. Through streams with Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio, listening to your favorite show is as easy as saying the show name followed by the word podcast. Hey, Alexa. Play Finding Your Frequency Podcast. If that doesn't work, try adding on TuneIn or on iHeartRadio or on Apple Podcasts. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. 
It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes and that opportunity to just really be present and have some time for you. No other expectation or demands on you. You just get to be. So I encourage you to enjoy those moments throughout our time together as we lean into discovering and exploring how to bring our passions to the world. I'm excited to introduce our first guest, Jennifer Bardot. She is the CEO and founder of The Grit Community, a women's group, Anthology Collection and Professional Development Association. She's a four times international best-selling publisher. She's helped bring forward over 200 women's stories through her anthology series. I want to call it a collection through her anthology series. She has a BA in business administration, dual master's degrees in secondary education counseling, and private practice therapy. She's absolutely passionate about helping you own your grit. Please lean in. Warmly welcome the powerful and dynamic Jennifer Bardo to the show. Welcome. Okay. Thank you so much, Rebecca. It's always funny when we sit back and we listen to our bios and we're like, how did we do so much? <laughs> so thank you so much for having me. You are so welcome. And I'm happy to hold that mirror up and celebrate <laughs> all that you have done and are doing and, and bringing to the world. And I wanted to, to take a moment and have you share what is this grit, uh, this series, this work? Why is this so important to you? How does this tie into kind of your passion and your gifts? We'd love to learn more about that and what grit stands for. <laughs> Absolutely. So I have de- I have utilized the acronym for grit, which is defined in my words as growth, resilience, intention, and tenacity. And the whole concept of why I'm so passionate about grit is because It teaches us that you can humanize hardships and create hope and alleviate loneliness and see your strengths and your uniqueness. And I have had to have grit since the third grade because that's when my world kind of, I guess I call it my great awakening because I was diagnosed with a learning disability in the third grade that educators um, pretty much labeled me saying that I was going to be incompetent of graduating from high school and I was going to be faced with all of this adversity. And I have had to lean on to my own grit since the age of nine to then go on and to prove these educators wrong and <laughs> to be the first in my family to graduate from my undergraduate degree and then go on and get two master's degrees and make dean's lists and just kind of always creating space that wasn't meant for me. They expected I was going to be on government disability because my disability was so challenging. I could hardly read and I couldn't comprehend anything. But through perseverance and having my own grit, I was over I was able to overcome a lot of the obstacles, but yet I still face a lot of the challenges today. And that learning disability is actually dyslexia. So just my brain codes things a little bit differently, but I've been able to embrace those challenges as more as um, a benefit because I'm such a creative brain since I think out of the box. So Mm. that is how I've defined grit. And I'm so passionate about it because these stories and having the courage to step into publishing my first book coming out of COVID was because I felt as though our world needed more grit. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And I just honor your journey and that you have more than shown (laughs) the educators <laughs> of, <laughs> of, of what you have accomplished. And I also just think that takes such courage to share 
what you have shared to be vulnerable in that way. And then to step into a place where you are leading book projects and helping people tell their stories is really, really powerful that you've been able to just harness all the gifts in those challenges and share it with the world. I just, I honor that and I celebrate it. And I'd love for you to share a little bit of this, what an anthology is for people who don't know what an anthology is and some of what you're doing with the grit community. Yeah. And thank you. And writing a book is probably one of the most intimidating things that I could do because of my disability, which is why Mm -hmm. I used to keep getting in that arena and getting beat up. So as Brene Brown would say, um, so I only highlight women and these anthologies are stories of over 207 women now on our fourth anthology and they share their personal journey of grit. So it's very much sometimes the first time a woman has ever stepped into publishing their own story. And Mm -hmm. with my background in counseling, I depict it as really an intensive journaling process where they get to do the work and are guided through the process with support to publish their story, but then to also see their strength along that journey. So it's a true blessing to be on this side, recruiting women and allowing them to showcase and amplify their voices and their message to teach others and to alleviate that loneliness through their story. Um, and then with Grit Community, that was another thing that I had actually started before COVID. It was initially called Seat at the Table because I was always in these male-dominated spaces, and I really wanted to build a community of women that were supportive of each other while we were developing professionally within our own growth. So that's evolved into a grit community, which is free for women to participate in. And it's grown to over a a thousand members organically. Mm. And Mm. I offer various events throughout the year. I have a virtual event once a month with a different professional thought leader. I host in-person luncheons to gather in person and then with another thought leader. And then I try to find creative ways to gather community. And I do that through wine events or women's health events or just different events and to expand their relationship outside of the professional setting. And then I also host workshops as well. So if they want to do a deeper dive exercise with these thought leaders, I create those spaces as well. But it's a great community that's supportive and it's women empowering women and cheering them on and Um, you know, finding opportunities for them to not only have advancements with employment, but opportunity professionally to grow. And Mm -hmm. there's been so many really cool things that have come out of it, even for job placement, just as a side note, um, from having such a supportive community of women. I truly love it. And it's been my calling, um, which is funny because I was never in a sorority because I took the untraditional route to um, getting my undergraduate mm-hmm. degree, but it's very much like a sisterhood, and I I don't even know a way to describe it, but I feel so fortunate to have found like-minded women. Mm-hmm. It seems as though when we rise to the top, it tends to be lonely, and then once again, I'm all about, you know, obliviating that loneliness and creating community. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing, and I can hear your heart and your passion um, for the work that you're doing in such um, great, beautiful alignment. And I love these anthology projects that you are doing and bringing forward. So a collaborative book project where multiple authors are sharing chapters and stories and you create such an amazing environment and process for them to to be able to share. And I know you have one of these coming up. And so I'd love for you to share. And I believe it it goes with the T in grit, tenacity, the fourth in the series. So I'd love for you to share a little bit about that book, um, the cover, because I know you do something really special on the covers of your books and when it'll be releasing so people can put that on their calendar. Yeah, and I am lucky enough to have worked with you with all five of my anthologies of my PR support. So thank you, Rebecca. It's been my honor. (laughs) And this one, the T, I am so excited about because on each of the cover, I always pick a different pair of women's shoes. So you actually get an opportunity to step into the lives of these women and walk in their shoes. And for this cover, I've picked a pair of cheetah booties, and they are just so fierce. And that is one of the words that I describe in three pillars of how I depict tenacity, 
which is courage, fearlessness, and just having utter self-motivation to getting it done no matter what. Mm-hmm. And I'm excited because, again, this is a this is an anthology created entirely by women, but we have over 40 women in, in this book. Each of them will be sharing 1,500-word story about their tenacity journey. And these stories are real and raw, and there's so much wisdom shared in these words, and their heart and soul are poured into the, each of these chapters. And I am so excited. This release is November the 1st, mm-hmm. um, which is a great time to you know, step into some excitement before the busy holiday season for most of us. Um, But I'm just, I'm really excited to be able to share this because I picked a cheetah just because they're such a fierce animal and they walk with such agility, but they're also very focused and very fast. Mm -hmm. And I think when you think about the aspect of tenacity within grit, that is when you have embraced all of who you are. You're in, in tune with your whole self in alignment. And you might not always have the competence, but you always have the courage to persevere and to continue to be fearless. So that's a little bit about what's to come. And I'm really excited to close out this final anthology series on a bang. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm really excited and I have November 1st on the calendar and I encourage all of our listeners, if you're feeling a pull to this subject matter, to Jennifer, to this anthology series, it is so powerful. I have been part, as she mentioned, of the different anthology she's brought forward, and each one is so impactful. And the stories that they share, the way the authors show up is something that will just inspire and encourage and resonate. So many different voices coming together. So I really encourage you, mark November 1st on your calendar, and here's what's extra special about that day. The first 24 hours of the release, she'll be offering the book for a special rate of $1.99. We're going to be coming alongside and sharing out to reach as many hearts and lives as possible. And we'd love your support in that. Um, but this is an opportunity that you heard here first on November 1st that you can lean in on Amazon and get a copy for $1.99 and add this to your library. It's also a great gift that you could um, add to your holiday gift list and and, and look at sharing out. So I encourage you mark that date on your calendar, take advantage of that that special rate, and look for tenacity and Jennifer um, on that date. And then Jennifer, I, I'd love to to circle back in as as we're celebrating and excited about the um, tea, the tenacity and grid coming forward and being shared with the world. As you're reflecting back on the journey, it takes a lot of grit and tenacity to bring forward so many anthologies leading so many different people. As you look back on that, is there a tip or a piece of advice that you could give our listeners to help them harness their grit and their tenacity? Absolutely. And I didn't even say this, but each of these anthologies in this collection I've rolled out five months after one another. And it, it all started mm-hmm. in 2021, April for Owning Your Grit, and then slowly growth launched in August of 2022. And then there was resilience in January 2022. And then just this past July was intention and here we are at tenacity. So I would say I've had to have grit through just curating these anthologies Mm -hmm. and helping support these women in this journey and this process together. But I actually author a chapter in each of these books as well, because I feel as though as the leader, you have to stand beside those that you ask to step in that arena beside you. And I would say my tip of advice would be, Just do it. And you're going to have many obstacles that arise on that journey, but there's also constant evolution of how that will unfold. And once you have finalized that launch date, build it backwards and then make sure you're doing each something each day to allow you to achieve that deadline and just hold yourself accountable and just have that sheer motivation of what you're focused on achieving, holding so tight to your passion that no matter what obstacles or hurdles get in your way, you are so deeply rooted in your mission and vision and what you want to achieve. Mm, I love that. And, and that's a great tip. You know, every day, 
to having some sort of step, some sort of action you're taking towards your goal and holding yourself accountable and setting that date like this is when it's happening <laughs> and then reverse engineered. I think those are really, really great tips to helping bring forward those things that matter to us. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer. I so appreciate you joining us today. Thank you for the wisdom insights. And we are very excited for Tenacity, the T and Grit <laughs> coming forward and launching on November 1st. And we'll have you back on towards the end of the show to share your contact information where they can learn more about you and your community and just go deeper. So thank you so much. As we go to this next commercial break, listeners, I want you to think about what Jennifer has shared. Absolutely, Mark, November 1st on your calendar. And how can you build some of this tenacity into your life? What is something you're wanting to bring forward are willing to commit to and mark the day in the calendar when it will be and then reverse engineer it. So enjoy these two minutes, really identify what that thing is that you are committing to, that you are willing to be tenacious to bring forward. And we'll continue our conversation in just two minutes. told me Voice America is on Twitter. Follow us at Voice America TRN. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Voice America programs are now available on your favorite connected device, including Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home. Through streams with Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio, listening to your favorite show is as easy as saying the show name followed by the word podcast. Hey, Alexa, play Finding Your Frequency podcast. If that doesn't work, try adding on TuneIn or on iHeartRadio or on Apple Podcasts. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes. I know behind the scenes, we're enjoying just pausing and breathing and being centered, really taking that moment and that opportunity. I hope that you had something kind of bubble up that you're ready to bring forward. You're ready to commit to. You're ready to set that date and reverse engineer bringing that objective, that goal, that vision forward. Perhaps one of the things that you've decided is you're going to be more visible. You're going to share your message or your story with more people. If that was something that bubbled up for you, I wanted to share something that might help. And you can put these dates on the calendar. <laughs> so we have what is called the Speaker Talent Search. You can learn all about it at Speaker talentsearch.com coming up in 2024. So it could be on our 2024 list, but this is part of our give back. It's an opportunity for you to 
share your message, to get your story, your wisdom, your insight, your skills out into the world to reach more people. So check it out if that's something that is on your heart, speakertalentsearch.com, and we'd love to support you in reaching more people, including possibly being a guest on our show. So definitely take a look, and we will be really excited to hear from you. We lean in with great respect and honor every person that applies and is courageous to share their message and story. So check it out, speakertalentsearch.com. And with that, we are excited to continue our conversation with our amazing guests. We have been talking about bringing your passion to the world. And how are you doing this? And Jennifer was sharing about the importance of grit and tenacity and gave us some great tips on how to bring those things forward that matter most. Our next guest, Karen Ann Bullock, actually specializes in helping you dare to transcend, to be strategic about the risks you're taking to bring forward those things that matter most. So let me take a moment to introduce Karen. Karen Ann Bullock is a speaker author and founder of Daring to Transcend. She is a strategic risk-taking coach who partners with women leaders to help them make an extraordinary impact, not just kind of do stuff, but an extraordinary impact with purpose and passion and joy. Karen was the first woman promoted to executive vice president at AM Best Company, and she has an extraordinary track record from her career within that field. She is a number one international bestselling author and the author of the bestselling series, The Ascending Ladder Series. She is passionate about helping you dare to transcend and pursue your truth. Lean in. Warmly welcome the powerful and dynamic... Karen and Bullock, welcome. Thank you, Rebecca. It's so great to be here. And um, I agree with what Jennifer said at the beginning of her interview about it. it's just it's amazing to sit back and listen <laughs> to introductions of ourselves because we don't always stop and think of ourselves that way. And um, I think everybody should get a chance to be introduced on a regular basis. I I love that. Well, I'm thrilled to have you here. And wouldn't that be so an extra credit bonus activity for all the listeners out there? <laughs> wouldn't it be fun to introduce each other that way or welcome when somebody comes on the phone as naming one of the amazing things they are or they have accomplished? How fun would that be? And what an uplifting Absolutely. experience. That- that would, you know? be, that would be great. I love that idea. <laughs> I, I love it. So there's an extra credit bonus opportunity for everybody listening today. I like it. <laughs> Inspired by Karen. <laughs> I love it. Well, Karen, I would love to start our conversation with why is daring tr- to transcend helping people do this? Why is that work personally so important to you? Well, it's important because we often get stuck in the mundane aspects of our lives and we get into routines and we do the same things over and over again and we get content with our lives, but we have skills and talents that we don't use and the world needs them. Mm -hmm. Let's face it, the world needs them. So that's why I'm so passionate about daring to transcend, because transcend literally means right to rise above. And we need to get out of the narrow limits of our lives and rise above and see where those possibilities are and see where we can really use all the gifts and talents that we have in order to make an extraordinary impact in the world. And by extraordinary impact, I don't mean necessarily, you know, huge, gigantic things like, you know, creating world peace or something like that, although it would be great to work towards that. But we can make extraordinary impacts even in the tiniest ways um, because we don't know how the ripple effect goes out. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I love that. And thank you for helping us not make it too hard <laughs> or too big for us to be able to Um, embrace and lean into and that daring to transcend is in all of those ways that we can bring ourselves more fully forward. I I love that. 
Now, you've created this Ascending Ladder series, and for those listeners that this is their first time experiencing the beautiful, wonderful Karen, I'd love for you to share, what is this Ascending Ladder series? Well, it's a series of fiction books. It's Mm -hmm. going to be a trilogy. Book one uh, is Discovering Power that's already out in the market, and the series follows a corporate IT executive uh, who happens to be female, and she goes through different trials and tribulations in in the books. Um, book one is a little bit different than book two if, as to what she faces. But the the purpose behind the whole series was to take ordinary situations that people experience in corporate America all the time, and even in small businesses to some degree, and inspire people to look at them differently, inspire people to be creative and think outside the box, the way Jennifer was talking about, Mm -hmm. to come up with solutions that are not only good for the leader and for the company, but for everyone involved. And really, at the end of the day, the goal is to help inspire leaders to look at the highest good of all when Mm. they're looking for solutions. I I love it. And all of that is wrapped in just an exciting story (laughs) that we get to enjoy (laughs) as, as we read. And I know that it's been really powerfully received. I, I got, the um, opportunity to read the first book and I've gotten to read the advanced copy of the second book. And I know that you had really great reviews and it went on to become a, a bestseller in multiple spaces, which is really exciting for um, what you are bringing to the world. And I I'd just love to, if there is a moment as you reflect back on you know, I have this series planted in my heart and then it comes to life and you've shared book one and I know book two is about to come out. We'll talk about that a little bit. Um, Is there just something that you have discovered yourself in bringing this forward that you can share with our listeners about bringing their passion forward? Well, there's so much joy in bringing something forward and and have it be well-received and have mm-hmm. people give you positive feedback on it. But even more important than just the positive feedback on it, knowing that it's touching people's lives. I mean, one of the most amazing things that happened to me with Discovering Power is I actually had someone who, who wrote, wrote me a message and said, oh my gosh, I read this, this book in one sitting. I couldn't put it down. And it just reminded me so much of the situation I'm in at work now. And I was so inspired by it. I was so inspired Mm. to do something different. And that really is what touches my heart is I want to inspire people. And it's, there's, I can't even describe the joy of that because it's, it's, you have to experience for yourself. And that's why I would recommend that your listeners do jump out and try to do things that are going to impact other people's lives because the joy of knowing you've changed someone's life, even in the tiniest way, is is to me just what life's all about. Mm, I, I love it. And those those tiny impacts create a powerful ripple, as, as you were mm-hmm. sharing. Like, we can have extraordinary impact one, one touch at a time, <laughs> one impact at a time. I, I love it. I love it. Well, and I know you're getting ready to bring book number two out. So do you mind sharing the title and and a little bit about that and when it's coming? Because it's soon. (laughs) It's very soon. It's it's, it's actually three weeks from today. So Mm -hmm. it's called Pursuing Truth. So the first book in the series was Discovering Power. This book is called Pursuing Truth, and it's coming out on September 28th. And this second book goes a little bit deeper into the interaction between our professional lives and our personal lives. Mm. We like to think we keep things compartmentalized. And I think we're taught, in fact, I was taught to keep things compartmentalized in the corporate environment. You know, work is at work and home is at home and never the two shall meet except 
well, you can bring your work home, but you better not bring your home life to the office, right? (laughs) Mm -hmm. But it doesn't work that way and in real life. And in pursuing truth, we really look at the way Cheryl's work life and her husband's work life intersect with their marriage and their relationships and their relationships with their coworkers. Mm-hmm. And so I love uh, pursuing truth because there's actually three voices in it. Cheryl's voice, who is the heroine of uh, Discovering Power and Pursuing Truth and the final book in the series but also her husband and one of her husband's coworkers. So it gets a little bit more juicy. I love it. And it is an exciting book. And one of the things I appreciate about your writing style is I get caught up in it. And I am living the story as I read it. And I'm surprised sometimes by the twists and turns. <laughs> and I really enjoy that. And it does stretch and it does uh, make me think. And it's in some of the things I discovered as I read, they do stay with you and are impactful in, in wonderful and great ways. So I'm very excited that the world will soon get to experience book number two, Pursuing Truth, on September 28th. And that also will be that special rate of $1.99. So listeners, we always like to let you know when a book is coming and that you can mark that date on the calendar and absolutely lean in and take advantage of that special rate. We'll be sharing it out in social media, and I know Karen will share a little bit later how to connect and be on her list as well so that you can be first to know as soon as it's available. And just as you were reflecting on our conversation and thinking about the the journey and risk-taking, daring to transcend, and your, your book coming out, is there anything on your heart, Karen, that you would really like to share with our listeners and um give them today to kind of, as they continue their journey with us, really have that information or have that insight in their life? Well, I think one of the most interesting things about my journey with with these books is that mm-hmm. I started writing them as, as nonfiction. I started writing a nonfiction book and about leadership and about all these things. And it was honestly boring me, but I thought it was the right thing to do. So I kept kind of plugging at it. And one day I was going for a walk and I wasn't thinking, I was just being, I was just out enjoying the nice weather. And that's when I started hearing the stories, a fiction story that was Cheryl, Cheryl's story, the original one. And what I really discovered about this whole writing process for me is that my creativity, and I think, I think a lot of people's real true creativity and stepping outside the box comes when we're listening to our inner self and not trying so hard, not thinking. And you've talked about the twists and turns in the book. Mm-hmm. A lot of those, I was surprised when they happened too, because the characters tell me the stories. <laughs> and I would just encourage our listeners to allow space for creativity, allow space for the unexpected to come up, to bubble up from within inside of you or from outside of you, however you look at those things. Because our thinking minds often can't be as creative as our intuitive minds. I love it. Thank you for sharing. And I love that allowing room for that to listen, to be, let our creativity come forward. And it's amazing what can create. And I love that you share that you don't always know the twists and turns (laughs) the book is going to take that the characters tell you. And that means you have to be listening (laughs) and open to to receive and, and share that. So it's a wonderful example of allowing that to come through and come forward. Thank you so much, Karen. I appreciate it. You're welcome, Rebecca. <laughs> well, listeners, we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break, and you know that means two minutes for you. So an opportunity to really be and breathe, see if a bubble of creativity or an idea comes up just by taking a moment to be. 
maybe notice something outside the window or notice what is going on around you. Notice the texture of something. Just take a moment to become really present and be aware of what's around you, not thinking too much, being, and see what bubbles up. We'll continue our conversation in just two minutes. Voice America is on your favorite smart speaker. If you have Alexa or Google Home, go ahead and give us a try. Hey, Alexa, play Finding Your Frequency podcast on TuneIn. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. You need to live up to your full potential. You've heard that for years, but now there's a channel to help you get there. Introducing the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Our listeners have told us that they want to be motivated, hear about success stories, and positive encouragement around the clock. And we've responded to you. The Voice America Empowerment Channel is the home of the world's top life coaches, entrepreneurs, and success experts. Listen to the Voice America Empowerment Channel. It's here at VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Find out what makes the most successful people tick. Keep listening to the Voice America Empowerment Channel. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes, an opportunity to just be and see what bubbled up, what you noticed, what you discovered. Sometimes I even find when I just do that shift, my body relaxes and I can feel rested and rejuvenated in just two minutes of being. So interested to see what you discovered. And that's another extra credit bonus activity that you can take forward. So not only introducing and recognizing amazing things about each other, holding that up, reminding us each of our greatness and celebrating it, but also taking those moments for you and pausing and allowing yourself to integrate, breathe, and be can be such a powerful activity to bring into your life. So I encourage you to do that. I hope You've been taking great notes and that you can look back at the top of the note page and see what you wrote down at the beginning of our conversation that you said you needed, that you were willing to receive. And I hope in our conversation today, you have found some of those pieces clicking or shifting forward or a new perspective, maybe some tools that you want to add to your library, some of these powerful books that are coming out. Perhaps you want to connect and go deeper. So really continue to keep this information in front of you. And I encourage you at the end of the show, don't just rush off into the day. Be mindful. Be purposeful. Take two minutes for you to breathe, review what's important to you, what it is that you're wanting to bring forward, who it is you're wanting to be, and then step forward in that way of looking at things, that view, those choices, be that, and step forward into your day. The day doesn't get to be in charge. You get to be in charge. (laughs) So 
own that, choose that. And with that, I'm going to have each of our guests share their contact information. I encourage you to write this down. It's very purposeful and mindful that we are sharing this and they are sincere about you connecting and going deeper. So allow yourself that support. Allow yourself to be part of their respective communities so that you can bring forward those things that matter most. With that, Jennifer, I'd love for you to share the best way for people to connect in with you. I'd love for you to remind them of the title of your book and the day it's coming out, just in case anyone missed that. Sure. It's Tenacity, and it's launching November the 1st, and this is the fourth of the Deconstructing Grit collection. Um, best contact for me is probably on LinkedIn. I have 6,000 followers. You can just shoot me a friend request, and then we can set up a one-on-one to have a conversation And then I can get you plugged in with Grit Community, which is the free women's group through LinkedIn. Um, If that's not your jam, you can connect with me on Facebook. I have an author page called Author Jennifer Bardot. And my email is ownyourgrit at gmail.com. So those three ways are really the best way to get in touch with me, either LinkedIn, Facebook, or old school email. Perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And Karen, how about you? What's the best way for people to connect and go deeper and remind them of your book title and the date it's coming out? So my book title is Pursuing Truth. It's book two of the Ascending Ladder series, and it will be released on September 28th with a special price for the first 24 hours of $1.99. And if listeners want to make sure they get that price and they get access to all the updates about Pursuing Truth and the whole series, they can go to ascendingladders.com and sign up to get on the wait list for the book. And that includes being entered into a drawing for uh, free autographed copies of the book. Oh, so wonderful. I would encourage everyone to do that. And if you want to connect with me personally, LinkedIn is also a great way for uh, to do that. So Karen Ann Bullock on LinkedIn or you can send me an email at karen at daringtotranscend.com. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I'm excited about that free drawing. I didn't know about that. So that's exciting. Listeners, I encourage it. (laughs) Lean in. Wonderful opportunity to to add this to your library. And then um, I'd love to go around the room one more time and just see if there's a final piece of advice or wisdom on your heart as our listeners are getting back, getting ready to take that pause and then go into the day that you would like to share. It just needs to be a quick little share. So Jennifer, do you have a quick tip you want to remind them of? Sure. As we were sharing our truth, if you have any light bulb moments as I describe them, things that pop into your brain as ahas, write those down and explore what that looks like because that might be your future passion to bring to our world. So listen to those light bulb moments. Love it. Love it. Love it. Karen, how about you? What would you share? Well, I'm going to tag team onto Jennifer's. And if you did not have a light bulb moment while you were listening today, uh, give yourself some space to take a walk Mm -hmm. today. If it's nice outside, spend some time just being and give yourself that space to have the aha moment if you didn't have it during the show today. Oh, beautiful. I love it. Thank you so much, Karen and Jennifer. I appreciate you all sharing. I know that these are busy times as it's, we're getting into that that fourth, close to fourth quarter and launching books and all those different things. So I really appreciate you taking time to share with us today. Listeners, I hope that as the seasons are shifting and we're in September and soon to be fourth quarter, that you really take this advice to allow room for those light bulb moments. And when they happen, write them down and give yourself an opportunity to bring them forward because you are a gift. No one else is made just like you, thinks just like you, has your wiring, your creativity, your way of bringing things into the world. And what a gift that is when you share it. And we all miss out when we shrink back and don't bring our gifts and our wisdom and our perspective forward. So today, I want to encourage you to take those time, the, those moments, time to allow the light bulb moments, to give yourself the opportunity to really purposely, mindfully bring forward those things that matter 
most and the greatest gift you can give the world is more of you. So be willing to bloom where you are planted and shine. Have an amazing week, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel, with a replay on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern and 1 p.m. Pacific on the Voice America Variety Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.